Hi everyone and welcome back to Sunday School. My name is Miss Chelsea and we are in session six of virtual Sunday School. This video is for ages three to five. If you want to participate, we have a few things that you'll need to print out. First, we need to print out the page that says God's promise to Abraham, Abraham's puzzle. Looks like this. You will also need to print out Count the Stars journal page. It looks something like this. You will need, oops, mine's on the floor. You will need a bl uh, black sheet of construction paper. You will also need, of course, some things to color with and a pair of scissors and some tape. And finally, for our last activity, you'll need a flashlight. So if you have a flashlight, this is how you will um, be able to participate in our last activity. All right, go ahead, pause the video and find those things and we'll meet back here. All right, welcome back. We're going to start with our Bible story today. We've been reading in the book of the Bible called Genesis. This story is called God's Promise to Abraham. Abraham had a dream about God. In the dream, God said, Don't be afraid, Abraham. I am with you and will keep you safe. I will give you something wonderful. Abraham asked God, What could you give me? I don't have any children, and that's what I want the most. God said, you will have a child. Look up at the night sky. Count all of the stars. This is how many children you will have. Abraham believed and trusted God. Here's Mr. Abraham. And he's looking at all those stars in the sky. Wow. And that, there's the moon down there. I wonder, what do you want the most? Abraham said that he wanted children the most, but what's something that you want the most? Share that with someone in your family today. Faith means to believe in God's presence and to hope. Faith is our word for this month. We have faith that God is with us. God brings us hope and God keeps God's promises. What do you think God's voice sounds like? Remember, God spoke to Abraham in a dream. What do you think his voice sounded like? Was it a deep voice? Was it a soft voice? Was it a loud voice? Abraham asked God how he, how could he have, excuse me, Abraham asked God how he would have many descendants when he had no children. What would you ask God about? Maybe there's something you're wondering about. Maybe you're wondering about how certain things work, or maybe you're wondering about, something I've been wondering about is how the leaves change colors, because I see all the leaves changing colors. That might be something I ask God about someday. All right, we're going to do a little puzzle that shows us a picture of the story we read today. So go ahead and get out your God's Promise to Abraham worksheet. Now you're going to need some help cutting out these little shapes at the top of your page here. We got one, two, three, four, five little shapes to cut out. And then we're going to find where these shapes fit in our puzzle. Notice there are some blank pieces, pieces missing from our puzzle. And each of these shapes is going to fit into one of these blank places. So you might need somebody to help you, but cut out these shapes and get to work on your puzzle. All right, and we're back. Now, when I printed out my puzzle, it was black and white. So I took some time to color mine too, and you can definitely do that. And I put my little shapes into where there were white spaces and it completed the puzzle. How did you do? 
share your picture with someone in your household. All right. God kept the promise to Abraham that he would have as many descendants or as many children and children's children as stars in the sky. Next, we're going to look at our Count the Stars journal page. It's the one that looks like this. Let's count how many stars are in this sky together. One, two, three. That's not very many stars. I want you to draw lots and lots and lots of stars in this sky so that we can see how many stars we can fit onto our page. And when you're done drawing your stars, go ahead and color Mr. Abraham and all of um, the background too. All right, take a minute to finish that. All right, I wanted to share with you what my picture looks like. You can see I added a whole bunch of stars. Let's count these stars together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I think I got them all. Show someone in your household how many stars you made on your picture. Alrighty. How do you feel when you see all the stars in the sky? How do you think Abraham felt when he saw all the stars? We're going to get our own chance to make stars on the inside today. So go ahead and get out that black piece of construction paper, and this is where you're going to need your flashlight. So you're going to take your flashlight and take the part where the light comes out and put that onto your black sheet of paper. Then you're going to trace around a nice circle around um, where that is on your black paper. And then you're going to have someone cut out that circle for you, okay? Now when you have your black circle, you're going to create little holes, little tiny holes in that black circle. To, and that's going to represent our stars. So you can do that with a pair of scissors. You can cut little tiny holes. That looks something like this. Or you could even take a pencil and um, poke little holes into it as well. All right, I'm going to show you what mine ends up looking like. Mine's pretty small, so I was able to poke three, three little holes into my black circle. And then you're gonna tape that black circle around the front of your flashlight. So go ahead, pause the video, cut out that circle and make those little stars. All right, now once you have finished that, should look something like this. Yours might be bigger than mine. My flashlight's pretty tiny. And then you're going to go find a really dark room in your house. Now I recommend going maybe into a bathroom because usually bathrooms are pretty dark because they don't have windows. And then you're going to turn out the lights. You're going to turn on your flashlight and you're going to put it against the wall, face it against the wall. And what you should see is something that looks like little stars shining against your wall. All right, go ahead, pause the video and get to work. All right, were you able to see some stars on your wall? I hope you were. Stars can remind us that God keeps promises and that we should have faith like Abraham. As you look at the stars, remember God is faithful. The stars come out every night. Let's pray together. God, you are faithful to me. Help me to always be faithful to you. Thank you so much for coming to Sunday School, and we'll see you next week.